Hey, it's Liam Gill, and I just finished up my first event, Liam and Friends, and this is how it went. This event came about, it all started a couple years back when my mother and I had intentions on going up to Fort Simpson because my, my grandmother informed me that there was snowboarding up in Simpson, so we had to check it out and we always wanted to, but due to COVID, and the, the borders being closed and restrictions, it, we weren't allowed to in uh, 2020 and 2021. We were planning on going in March in 2022, and that was right before I qualified for the Olympics. Since I qualified for the Olympics, I had to postpone uh, my trip for up north. And then coming home from the Olympics, going up north, I got to share that with the kids, so it ended up working out great. Indigenous youth up north face many challenges, such as the lack of facilities, very remote and isolated, which make travel very expensive. They just don't get the same opportunities that other youth and children get in the cities. Sunshine Village offered to host an event of my choosing, and right away I knew I wanted to bring the kids down from the Northwest Territories that I met at my tour. Typical day, we'd wake up, have a big breakfast, we'd pack lunches, gear up to go to the hill, and we had a mandatory stop for coffee, grab our passes, uh, head up the gondola, put on sunscreen, do a big group stretch, and then kids would like to split up adventure in their own ways. is a little loose we're kind of just going after it a couple bales couple lands <laughs> but we're having fun so yeah Days throughout the week, I had guest riders that are my friends, like Camilla Kozerback, who went to the Olympics for Hungary, and Ian, my friend that I grew up riding with, and my dad, and Ricky. <laughs> and after a full day of riding at Sunshine, we'd head back to Canmore, hot tub, play Xbox, call home, and we'd eat dinner prepared by my mom. And depending on the day, we had different activities. A waxing clinic ran by Ian, and all the equipment was provided by the Glide Factory. And on our rest day, did a lot of sightseeing in Banff. We stopped by this really cool dock. It was a bit gloomy, but the kids were super stoked on the scenery. For our first day of riding, the kids were greeted with a bunch of swag, thanks to Arcteryx, The Source Snowboards, Von Zipper, and the Jamie Blaine Memorial Foundation. Last day, the Fort Simpson group spent the afternoon at the Vortex, uh, skateboarding and jumping around. Thanks to Lib and Mervyn Manufacturing, all the kids from Simpson were able to go home with a snowboard of their own. Representation matters, and after this trip, I realized that I can have an impact on future generations, indigenous or other. Liam and friends celebrated and uplifted indigenous yep. pride, traditions, and heritage while encouraging a healthy lifestyle. Sport also strengthens indigenous identity, contributing to self-confidence and pride. It means so much to me to not only share my experience as a snowboarder with youth in these communities, but also to listen and learn. 
Um, we'd also like to let, thank the Canadian Olympic Committee for the legacy grant. Now the legacy grant, if we didn't get it, would have been very hard to pull this off. It allowed to pay for some accommodations at some pretty swanky places. You guys are staying in some really nice uh, accommodations. I learned more about my roots and heritage and the kids were there to teach and help me. They taught me how to perform a tobacco ceremony which I held during Liam and Friends while Fort Simpson and Fort Smith groups were together on snow. Spending time with the kids and seeing their passion for snowboarding reminded me and reinforced what I truly love about snowboarding and why I fell in love with it in the first place. It was amazing to be with like-minded people that shared my beliefs. I want to continue to partner and work with others to drive increased support for more young people. I am honored the Liam and Friends event will help provide access to snowboarding for those youth who may not have the financial means to do so on their own. It is amazing to see how my sponsors and other industry stakeholders supported this event and made it awesome for the kids. I felt like a true snowboarder. Longer runs, try lift, not to walk up the hill or skidoo up it. Going to the very tippy top, that was so cool. And then like going all the way down to the bottom. Yeah. That was like the funnest part. I would probably tell them that I wish they would have came and that like I wish they could see what I what I what I'm seeing right now. Obviously, I wish they could have been on the mountain with me and got into going all the different runs and try the ski lifts and even though I got like motion sick, the gondola was pretty cool.